It's another weekday. Today is a Wednesday, and I'm here at Grimaldi's. Uh, this is a place that's one of the top pizza places in Dumbo. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Sarah Funk, a top New York YouTuber, always brings people here. It's actually one of the places where uh, I think she takes people for who buy tours from her as one of her like common stops. Uh, this place has been here for like 40 years. It has very classic uh, pizza. Uh, they know what they're doing. They know how to make it. And uh, I know about because right next door is a place called Juliana's. You can even see it from here. And that's another very famous one. That's the one I went to before. And I saw people coming to here too. So I was like, which one's best? Uh, if I had to choose, probably Juliana's. That one, I've only had Juliana's so far, but that one was really good. Uh, so today I'm getting the uh, Grimaldi pizza. I think you go, I asked that you only buy it as a whole. You can't buy it as a slice. And the classic margarita, the smallest size is 16 inches. And that costs about 20 bucks, uh, plus tax and so forth. And so that's what I got. I got the classic margarita. Uh, traditional pizza with just you know, classic margarita toppings uh, for 20 bucks right here. You can also get calzones and gluten-free and cauliflower and some appetizers and some additional toppings but hey I wanted to try the classic margarita. My guess is that I will probably like Juliana's a bit more just because the quality of their cheese is so high I can't see uh, them topping it but you never know. And by the way, it's pretty darn deserted inside, even though it's about 6.30 p.m. And so, you know, if you were to come here on a weekend with all the other tourists, it'll be mobbed. You have to wait uh, like I did at Juliana's for like at least an hour, maybe 45 minutes. But if you're coming on a weekday evening, this is the time to come. No one's here. It is kind of cold, though, so I have like four layers. But uh, yeah, excited to try this out. All right, I'm starving, so I'm just gonna get one quick slice here at this like little table right next to Grimaldi's before they kick me out. I think this is supposed to be a bar, but the bar is closed. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. It is massive, it is amazing. Oh, it is thin too. That, that is a very, very thin uh, crust pizza. Uh, you got basil on there, you got tomato, cheese. It's very basic. Mm. Completely different uh, taste than uh, Juliana's. Juliana's has these like thick bits of cheese. This is very thin with like almost acidic tomato paste. Okay, if I had to give a first impressions rating, I would give it a 4.5, no, 4.3 4. out of 10. I mean, out of five, 4.3 out of five. Now, why isn't it a five out of five? Um, I don't, I like the thick crust. I, I like the Pizza Hut thick crust uh, type of stuff. But I mean, just the taste of this, I might bump it up to a 4.4, 4, I'll give you a 4.45 out of five. Pretty solid. Um, very nice, unique, acidic tomato taste. I was not expecting such a difference. It's still basic pizza, to be honest, but you could tell it's well done. Um, I like the thick crust to the thin crust, but uh, that's why I'm giving a 4.45 out of 5. All right, guys, I've already plowed through about a third of this pizza, and it's already starting to get cold, like the pizza, literally, because it's cold outside. And man, look at that view. Just a few steps away, from Grimaldi's is the boardwalk and you get to see the lights of Manhattan and it's like dead empty here because I guess it's cold so no one wants to be outside I more or less have the whole place to myself um, it's beautiful the pizza is great too after I've tried a bit more of this the basil really sinks through. The tomato sauce is kind of more kind of, I guess, low key in size. You know, there's just tomato sauce that's like really fluffy and chunky. 
this is very almost like a, like a slightly acidic uh, liquidy tomato sauce and it's really the basil that that just sinks through so that, I give it a 4.45 still and then I push I push Juliana's up to a 4.5 I still like Juliana's a little bit better just because of the cheese the cheese at Juliana's is just like out of this world there's a distinct herb like taste almost like very punchy very obvious that's coming from either the basil or the sauce or both it's very unique I, I haven't had uh, pizza like this um, it adds a very kind of herby taste some people might not like it it might be too much here I am alone in what I believe is Squib Park, which is the park that Sarah Funk recommends that you visit as the best entrance park to the Dumbo area. Now, as you can tell, uh, it's pretty empty here, but you get this fantastic, unique cityscape view of the city. And obviously no one's here because it's like getting pretty cold and it's a weekday evening. But it's a little hack you want to do if you want to see things from a different angle with less people now it's New York City so it's not n no people um, if you look around if you walk around you're gonna find people um, but it's less people much less so there you go I think at night uh, the park area is not so much that worth seeing it seems I was curious I was like what the squid park looks like in the dark and from what I can tell it just looks like a bunch of uh, lit up sidewalk pathways with grass on either side and trees but you can't really even see the trees that well so yeah uh, this is also a very expensive place to live I believe uh, some celebrities have bought them, like apartments here for millions of dollars and uh, yeah a lot of a uh, little bunch of people live nearby in Brooklyn Heights uh, John Krasinski and his wife uh, at least used to have a house there uh, but yeah it looks like we're coming close to the entrance of Squib Park so we're getting farther away from the water and then closer to what I guess you would consider the running and biking path and then uh, on the other side of that are the apartment buildings So according to my Google Maps, that wasn't actually Squib Park. If you walk even further out from the water, I mean, this is getting closer to Squid Park. This might be Squid Park. There's a bridge over me. And then uh, you cross this road, which is pretty hectic. And then there's like a gated forest area under that bridge. That might be Squid Park, but uh, my map's telling me it's like right here or like a little bit further along there. So yeah, I guess this is the Squid Park general area. All right, I am stuffed after eating an entire 16 inch pizza at Grimaldi's by myself, but literally right behind me is a famous ice cream place called Ample Hills Ice Cream. So had to knock out two birds with one stone. I got their most popular flavor. It's called Ooey Gooey. It's a uh, cream ice cream with uh, uh, bits of like cream cake in it as well so uh, really excited to eat this I got the kid size because I'm really not hungry I, I'm like kind of full now with the pizza but I had a little walk around just to see if um, I still had some stomach room and I did mm, not bad it's like a very milky sweet type of taste when you bite into those uh, cream cake chunks Yeah, very chewy. It has the chewiness of a toffee, but it really is more like a cream ice cream or a cream cookie dough in a way. It's a really nice 
uh, unique taste. Uh, yeah, Ample Hills, check it out. There's, it's a chain, so there's a lot of them in New York. Um, it has a kind of cold stone feel to it in terms of the choices inside and the toppings you can get. Uh, but obviously, it's got some unique flavors in there, just like Cold Stone has some unique flavors as well. Um, this was the kid size, which cost four seventy-five. They have like five different sizes, all the way up to like a extra large, I guess. You get it in a cone or a cup. I chose a cup. And the best part of eating right now is, first off, it doesn't melt, so I can take my time. Second off, the views are amazing. Then third off, not all these like people uh, that I have to fight over for somewhere to sit. Enjoy. So what's my rating after having a bunch more bites of this? I would say I give it a solid 3.75 out of 5. I think one of the tiny hangups is that I can taste occasional like ice flakes in here, uh, which usually happens when you kind of over freeze ice cream and then it starts to ice and then you get like iced in there. Uh, that's not always a pleasant experience. So I'm guessing just out of the freezer where this came from, maybe it was a little too cold. Um, as far as the actual flavor, I, I think it's pretty solid. It's a nice creamy type of flavor with little bits of chunk, chunk in there. I honestly really like it. I I'll bump it up to a four actually, four out of five. It's really solid. It's just like, uh, not something I would write home about, but very well done as well. Like it's a very nice, pleasant ice cream to have uh, with with that view of the city. Uh, I think s similar with the Grimaldi's pizza, uh, once you have just too much pizza, too many bagels, too much ice cream, you're just almost pizzaed out and you're just like, okay, I'm done here. Uh, I think I could go without pizza for a really long time. Um, so I'm kind of at that state, uh, but nonetheless, I think with this one, fairly solid, 4.4 out of five.